So Gary, you see so much of the Hollywood fast track is about relationships, very true. LA is a tough place to read people, a lot of people with hidden agendas. How do we know when it's okay to trust someone? How do they know it's okay to trust us? And you, you talk about the rule of three, but sometimes you're just in a casual setting. What type of sort of caution or due diligence should, should someone do when forming a partnership or relationship with someone that they don't really know that well? Maybe they've, you know, interacted on social media a few times. The, the, well, the, the, the good and the bad, there are a lot of people who profess to know more or be better connected or have more seniority than they, you know, than, than they really do. But we have Google. We have our ways of, of researching people. And if you can't find them online, that's a concerning thing, right? So you just look them up. And, um, and if you listen carefully and ask the right questions, and I believe asking the right questions is the key to, you know, the kingdom, um, they'll reveal to you who, who they claim to know or have real rapport with and what they've done and haven't done. And so you can check those things out. That's number one. Um, but the flip side of the coin is um, the old adage, I think it was Charlie Tremendous Jones, I forget, who said, uh, we are the average of the five people that we're closest to in life. So the question is always, how do we continually uh, up our game, escalate, elevate our relationships? And, and that's about targeting people that we want to be in association with, that we want to have rapport with. Um, and so, yes, it's okay to be out networking casually, socially, and going to events and you know seminars and all that sort of thing. Um, but it never in, 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 in lieu of that very intentional kind of networking, which says, I'm going to target people in each of these categories, representatives, agents, managers, lawyers, producers, casting directors, editors, cinematographers. By the way, everybody goes after the same people, producers and agents, right? Well, what about everybody else? The cinematographer sits in the center of the action on the set. The producer, the director, the stars all bow to this person during photography. He has great, he or she has great relationships. And they're sitting at home like the college professor waiting for the student to show up and no one shows up. Wow, what if I want my script read by a, 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 an award-winning cinematographer? What if, do they have relationships that could redound to my benefit? Do they know the actors that I want to get in touch with? Do they know some, do they have representation? Of course they do. Could their agency help me? They're not used to being asked as much as producers and agents. So I say play billiard, human billiards and go to the people who are least harassed, but could be really helpful. And maybe they're the perfect cinematographer for your film. It's not a big commitment to make. So there's a lot of ways, but I say, you know, be careful, be cautious, be smart, use Google, know if someone is uh, legit, but at the same time, really spend most of your energy targeting who you really do want to know.